Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the 2015 NHL playoffs. Right now, we're going to take a look at a very interesting matchup, Ottawa and Montreal. And we are talking with a guy from Canada himself, Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. And our regular viewers might remember him from our NFL videos this past year, where he put up a record of 26 and 13 against the spread for free with us in the NFL. Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. Thanks for being back with us. Thanks for having me back, Peter. All right. Tell us what IlluminatiSports.ca is, is all about for anyone who's uh, watching you for the first time and is unfamiliar with your awesome record uh, in our videos this past NFL season. Well, we offer various sports handicapping services from A to Z. We also offer week day passes. We accept PayPal and Bitcoin now. So for those of you who are weary, you know, we have a free pick and you can check it out. It has a winning YT once again. And all the picks are tracked in our free pick YTD. So check us out, IlluminatiSports.ca today. Ottawa and Montreal. This is an interesting matchup. Montreal has home ice. They're a significant favorite, minus 152. Ottawa on the other side, a plus 135. And it's just an interesting matchup, right? Montreal is, uh, is not a terribly impressive team, except for Carey Price in goal, who's completely, totally awesome. And, uh, you know, probably nobody in the entire NHL meant more to a team's success than Price did to Montreal this year. And he is legitimately awesome. But if he's not awesome, then Montreal is just not really an elite team. They're, uh, you know, they were, their, their shot statistics are generally in the bottom third of the NHL. And Ottawa was a team that was on the outside looking in until Andrew Hammond came in, goal for them, and he absolutely killed it. And Ottawa finished 23-4-4 four four down the stretch to, uh, to make it into the playoffs. And they're a team that's just riding a bunch of overachieving, enthusiastic uh, youngsters who are inexperienced, but you know, have quote unquote youthful exuberance. They've definitely gotten it done in the second half of the season enough to uh, play very impressively and, and make the playoffs. The question is, are they going to be able to continue it here? So there's a lot of uh, X factors here, a lot of question marks. Is Carey Price going to be able to maintain his elite play elite enough to, uh, to make up for all of Montreal's other deficiencies? And are Otto, is Ottawa going to be able to continue riding that wave that they've been riding so well so far? I don't know. What do you think, Justin? Well, hold on your buckets for this one. This series is going to be all about physicality and grind. The Senators come into this series as hot as any team can get, but the Canadians still claim the Atlantic Division. But the Senators won their past three games against the Habs by a combined score of 13-5 to and knocked the Habs out in five games two seasons ago. Up front, the Habs are built around an elite player at each position, while the Senators have good company with 520 goal scorers. A big factor in this series will be the health of Max Pacioretty for the Habs, who is the leader up front, notching 37 in the regular season. But speaking of snipers, Mark Stone from the Senators comes into the postseason hotter than anybody, lighting it up with 64-point campaign, where 50 came at even strength. With all the above said, we're going to give the slight edge to the Senators at forward. Defensively, the presence of Markov, Gonchar, Gilbert, Subban, Emlin, and Petrie. I'm going to say that the Canadians have arguably the deepest blue line in the Eastern Conference. For the Senators, beyond Carlson and Mathot, there are a lot of question marks with Weirkosh, Cece, Griba, Borowetsky in terms of what they can do offensively and if they are capable of stepping up if lack of forward production come from the Canadians systematically shutting them down. Therefore, upper hand les habitants between the pipes if you asked me this question three months ago i would have never envisioned this to be the marquee goalie matchup of the first round <laughs> but with stellar stats going to both tenors here is what better should expect these two will be stealing the show thus leading to buying half goals and betting unders for all the games in the series here Kerry Price is a prime candidate for the Vesna Trophy. He got 44 regular season victories, and that passed the Canadians' greatest goalies of all time for a single season record. Hamburglar, on the other hand, 21 and 2 as an NHL starter. And he was the savior of the Senators' season. They were 14 points out of the postseason February 10th. Therefore, we're going to give the slightest upper hand to Carey Price because he does have postseason success 
and has won Olympic gold medal for Canada in 2014. I got nothing more to say, Peter, so cue me up. Yeah, this is a tough one. And then you have to, fa everything you said, great analysis, and then you have to factor in the odds. If you take Montreal, you know, you're giving a little bit of a, a you're laying a little chalk there. Minus 152 and Ottawa on the other side, plus 135. I think it's going to be a pass for me. Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. What would be your recommended play here? Well, truthfully speaking, Peter, you can't pass when you're doing predictions. So when we see this series being a crash and bang one, it very well could go the distance. If you are able to bet the longevity of it, it's virtually 100% guaranteed that we are likely to see at least five games. Mm -hmm. It's tight to choose a side on this one. You know, do I go with this side? <laughs> do I go with this side? But I believe the Canadians at minus 150 will respond to the Senators' recent dominance and come out ahead with a great counterattack and limit the Sens to prime scoring opportunities. Awesome analysis. Justin Bapp from LuminatiSports.ca leaning on Montreal at minus 152, but also implying the best way to bet this series might be uh, just that it goes to seven games. And I think if I had to make a bet on this series, uh, that's what I would do as well. I wouldn't take a winner. I would just take that it goes uh, seven games. Justin Bapp from LuminatiSports.ca. Thanks so much. <laughs>